Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am fresh out of bed, literally in my PJs, just rolled into this room to get dressed for the day. Um, it's still dark outside, although it kind of looks a little bit light on camera, but no, it's dark. It is about seven o'clock and we are, it's Monday morning. We've got a at home yoga session booked now. I thought I would just bring you along with me for the day. I've got a fun little appointment as well at about 11. I'm taking Barney to this place, which well, I'll talk to you about that later. Um, but it should be good fun. <laughs> so I thought I would bring you along with me either today, today and tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, what a way to start the day. I'm really enjoying our Monday mornings. This is our fourth session now with Sophie. No, it's not. It's our third, sorry. And um, yeah, it's feeling good. Last week was quite intense. <laughs> So we'll see how today goes. We're saying maybe might more of a morning stretch because first thing on a Monday morning after what we had last night, a big roast dinner, it's just like, pff, I just want to stretch it out, you know? I don't want anything too intense. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get dressed and then head downstairs, get the space ready by popping like my diffuser on, getting my yoga mat out, which I've got a new yoga mat actually because my other one was just not good enough. It's from a brand called Fable. I've had a couple of mornings where I've just done like a bit of a morning stretch myself on it. And yeah, I really like it. So I would highly recommend if you want a good yoga mat. Let's get ready for the day and sit back, relax, grab a cuppa, and I hope you enjoy. Good morning, puppy. Are you happy it's a Monday morning? I feel like he is used to his fresh, straight out bed into a WALK, so. Last week, we popped you in the front room, didn't we, during yoga, and someone was crying whilst we were trying to do some breathing and some meditating, weren't you? You were whimpering in the front room, weren't you? <laughs> so hopefully he'll get used to the fact that when it's yoga time, because <laughs> if he stays in the room with us, he just will run riot and cause chaos. Anyway, I have just got dressed. I thought I'd show you my little yoga outfit of the day. I have everything on from Halara today. So we've got this kind of like white racer back sports top which has like built in padding so it's like you can just go braless with it. And then I love these. These are the flared um, leggings that they do. They're just super comfortable. They've got the crossover waist as well. I haven't even made the bed yet. In fact I could do that now quickly. She's not due here for another 10 minutes or so. Oh guys, look what book I'm on. The second one in the series. Apparently she's bringing out a third. So I'm so excited if she is. But The Housemaid is, or was I should say, because I haven't read it now, so good. And yeah, so I'm so glad I had this one at the ready. I will leave these linked below because if you have not read them and you like a thriller, really really good so yeah i started that one i'm probably like a fifth of the way through what chapter am i on chapter 15 and uh, so far so good
So that was lovely. What a lovely way to start the week. I'm just going to do a light touch of makeup today. I we, we said to Sophie this morning, we said, can we do like a slower practice, a real stretch, like a morning stretch out? And so I'm not too sweaty, Betty. I feel, you know, just going to stay in my yoga gear for the day and just I feel like when I'm in active wear. I'm a bit more productive. <laughs> Plus, I'm also going to this thing, which I was telling you about earlier with Barney. It's called Hydra Hounds. It's based in Stockport. And it's a lovely lady who, I believe, from having a look online, set up the business um, from her chocolate lab needing hydrotherapy. She's just gone on to be able to create this centre, this facility, which is essentially a swimming pool for dogs, like a small hydrotherapy pool whereby you can book on with her to do some hydrotherapy for um for injuries but also for fitness somewhere i remember being told like 15 minutes of swimming is the equivalent of an hour's walk so it's you know it's a good way to tire out your dog especially if you've got a super active pup like barney is i've just taken him for a quick walk around the block but i know that he will love this swimming session it's also great for you to be able to take puppies to teach them about water and in a safe environment, teach them to swim. She kindly invited me down, having followed us on Instagram. If you don't know, Barney's got an Instagram. I said, yes, I'd be more than happy to come down, have a look, um, mention her to obviously you guys as well. I'll do something on his Instagram probably, um, like a little video um, of him having a good time. But uh, yeah, so that's that. She also has a room at the back because when you book on to do one of these sessions, you get um, complimentary sort of shampoo shower down afterwards. You just have to bring your own towels or I think she provides them a, a charge, but I'm just gonna take my own towels. And um, yeah, so they get a bit of a wash afterwards. You can just hire that space so that you can just go and give your dog a bath. She's got an Instagram page if you did want to follow along and see some of the previous sessions that she's had with other dogs. But yeah, so for today, I am just doing a quick light base of makeup. I always feel just more put together if I have at least something on my face. I'm gonna wear my brown mascara today. I honestly really, really love wearing a brown mascara. I just feel like it's that a little bit softer, especially if you naturally have lighter features. Like I've got sort of a paler complexion, blue eyes, although, Tom insists my eyes are green. What do you think? Are they blue? Are they green? And in between, turquoise? I feel like they're looking pretty blue today. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> blue or green? I've always said my eyes are blue. Uh, but yeah, Tom goes, no, they're green. Turquoise. I think because his is so like dark blue. Well, like a real true blue. Whereas mine do have a hint of green. I think because my dad's got blue eyes and my mum's got more green in her eyes. I've kind of got that in between. So yeah, because of that and then blonde hair as well, I just think brown mascara is just really uh, soft and a bit less harsh than black. I'll leave it linked in the description box. Um, and yeah, if ever you see anything, by the way, in my videos that you want me to send you a link to, you know, like even if it's just in the background of my videos or even just... If, if I'm being completely honest with you, I pretty much message every single person back on Instagram. YouTube comments, because I don't have notifications set on, I can sometimes miss YouTube comments, so apologies. And then I kind of like, I go on to reply to some comments and I realise there's like hundreds and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get through all these. But messages on Instagram, I feel like I keep pretty up to date with. So yeah, if ever you want a link to something or have a question, or simply just want to chat, then my inbox is always open over on Instagram. I feel like I'm becoming more active with my Instagram home account as well. I feel like slowly but surely that's going to end up taking over my other one that I originally set up, just because I feel like I don't know why actually. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do on my lips? I'm going to do my colours this. Well, wow, this is a throwback. Do you remember when MAC Well lip liner was like a huge craze? I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that's kind of what set Kylie off, Kylie Jenner off, to creating her own jewellery, uh, jewellery, makeup company, makeup brand, because she basically sold out 
you know, Mac by mentioning that she likes the Whirl lip liner, just going in with Carmex today, uh, and lipstick, that they were just sold out everywhere from Mac. And she was like, you know what? I'm not getting anything from this. So I'm gonna create my own, my own company. And that's what she did. We're all ready for the day. This top that I've just added on to my main base that I showed you earlier is just from White Fox. I love like how slim fit it is and perfect for kind of like workout attire. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at you think you're water? Do you want to go for a swim? Do you want to go for a swim? Oh, it's nice. It's a Nope. Barney was a bit tentative at first, which I was surprised with because I thought, oh, he loves swimming, he'll be fine. Um, but I think it's important to know that obviously, and I didn't even think, but it's very different for them because they, first they're in like a completely different kind of water. It's warmer. There's someone in there with them who they've never met before. So it is, and like I'm not in there with him. I mean, I'm in the area, but you know, not in the water. So it was a bit like, what's going on? But as soon as he realized that he was just swimming, then he was loving it. So um, yeah, we'll definitely go back and we'll definitely recommend booking on. So Hydra Hounds in Edgeley, Stockport. And if you do take your dog for a bit of a fun swim like that, or they do like weight management, they do, um, like I said, kind of rehab towards like injuries, like whatever reason you're taking your dog, I would say it's quite, um, like a good little tip she gave me is a lot of people will wear like Crocs, something kind of like waterproof, kind of like what you would wear around a swimming pool if you weren't actually swimming. So maybe even like a poncho or something or, cause I am wet, <laughs> but that is because I went right up to it and I was like hand in the water, like encouraging Barney and getting content and wanting to get quite close up to him. So obviously you don't have to do that. But because of that, I was fully expecting, hence why I didn't get changed out of my yoga gear to get wet and I did. So my arms are a bit wet and the bottom of my legs are a bit wet. Um, but yeah, honestly, it was so much fun for both Barney and I. Anyway, look at this sunshine coming through. Absolutely blooming lovely. Aww. So I'm just gonna have a quick shower now. I think I'm gonna hold off washing my hair until tomorrow though, because I do want to maybe go for a run in the morning. Greasy hair for now and just get into some dry clean clothes after a shower. And then I might have a little venture back out, especially as the sun's out today, to do a little bit of thrifting maybe, a bit of charity shopping. I thought it's been a while. I went to the, what's it called? Vintage Emporium uh, a while ago. Well, I said a while ago, it was a couple of weeks ago with Tom. And he was saying that he got some Adidas trainers at the outlet that he wants to get another pair of. So I might venture back there just by myself 
and then what's there show you around a little bit maybe we do some charity shopping on route back through and then anything that i do get and any previous purchases i was thinking i could kind of show you like items i've thrifted and how i've styled them like where they are around our house so that's the plan but first things first let's get some dry clothes on Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets and Yesterday has gone to sleep that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away Build a secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in I did pick myself up a little treat to give me a bit of a sugar rush. I got a little Bakewell slice. I managed to get some trainers from that Adidas outlet that Tom was after, another pair of, and I also picked myself up one up because he said they're really good for running. So try them myself. They are bright orange. <laughs> but if they help you out with your running, then. Of your nights just sitting on your own. I should have done so much more. Like giving you the things you asked me for. And I know I was wrong. It's what I try to tell you with my son. Tell you with my son. What if I said I'm sorry? just come over to Dunelm. Have a quick look. I've not actually been here for the longest time. So I'm gonna have a look. I think they've got sales on at the minute. There's also a couple of cleaning products that I've had from here before that I'm currently using and they are so good. They smell so good that I thought I'd just pop in and see if they've got them again. I think it's the Myers range or something in lemon, something or other. I'm using their, the washing up liquid there from there at the minute and yeah, love it. Spill cover you all over my face. Lovely. Anyway, let's head on in and let's see what Dunelm has new in. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers. Have this whole new range of like tapas dishes from tiny little dip bowls to larger little bowls and plates and then they've also got loads of like from this like world gourmet range different kind of pasta making kits and pinata makers even like pasta drying stands little cutters We're getting touches of spring and easter in they've got some little hanging um hanging eggs different patterns loads of like kid friendly bits different books and stuff it's nice but probably a bit too yellow for me, a bit too bright. So I've got this range of candles, different scents, spa day, calm days and coastal stroll, but they're very similar. Oh, there's another one there, meadow scent. They're very similar in style to the Jo Malone townhouse candles. This sort of ceramic, the shape of them. Yeah, I thought that I'd mention that as like a bit of a Jo Malone dupe. They've got this whole dried floristry range as well. And these aren't dried flowers. These are actually faux flowers, but they've obviously just been popped here but they are worth 10 pounds now five pounds a stem and i just really like the color of them i feel like they make a really nice addition to a vase like a faux bouquet or even just them on their own so they've got this range 
uh, church gate, which I love. Very like heritage, rustic. They've got these aprons at £12, which I mean, you can't really tell, but it's just a standard apron with the church gate thing. But they've also got these double oven gloves at £10, which I think I'm going to pick one of these up. And they've also got them in like a bluey colour, like a charcoal colour. This is the kind of like bluey colour and they've got the single oven gloves as well. Very sort of Zara home style, this new crockery that they've got in. Good morning, guys. It is a brand new day. Barney's just looked at me like, who are you talking to? I've just been out for a run actually with Barney and it felt really good. I'm feeling quite tight in my skin. I've not done any skincare yet this morning. I've just got back, washed my hair, had a shower and everything. But yeah, I've not put any skincare on because I'm going to Wilmslow today to the Cheshire Clinic to see Dr. Ahmed again, who I've spoken to you guys about on Instagram. I've got a little highlight if you wanted to um, sort of know what sort of like Botox fillers or whatever I've had. I basically had with him, was it in December? I had light Botox quite high up in my forehead so that I still have movement on my brows, which I prefer personally. After that appointment, we were talking about tear trough filler, which I've never had before. And I do feel like I would benefit from it because I do get quite like hollow under eyes like when you smile see that like hollowness there so i'm intrigued as always with dr ahmed he's very um he listens to the fact that i like little like less is more in my opinion when it comes to any kind of thing like this i feel like if you go overboard and have it done all the time you can tell or like you know you see horror stories of things going wrong so i'm always of the mindset of little tiny little tweakments if people don't know that you've had anything done then for me that's kind of like the desired outcome it's like and i know a lot of you say you don't need anything it's like well, i've had stuff so you're saying that but you don't know well i don't even know what my face looks like without any like fillers or botox the fillers to be fair i haven't had any lip filler for years and years and years i mean the first time i had it i've had it done twice so the first time was it was literally the week before i met tom so that was 10 years ago and then i had it done again i think about three years after that so yeah it's been at least like seven years since i've had any filler in my lips so i don't think i would ever get i mean never say never but i don't think i would ever get that done maybe a lip flip but i don't know how that would suit me um and as for fillers, I've only ever had it in the apples of my cheeks because I'm quite flat on the front naturally. So never like in my cheekbones or anything like that, but just a little bit here in the apples. Um, so essentially, oh, and also a tiny bit in the sort of smile lines, um, which I personally love because I can get quite deep smile lines, but obviously you can tell here there's no lines really, just like a natural looking line which I'm fine with. Um, but yeah, I used to get really bad like makeup setting in these lines here and here. Um, but since having that done, and it is literally minimal amounts that I needed there. Um, yeah, since having that, it's like amazing. Honestly, the same with like um, anti-wrinkle injections in your forehead. It just helps, for me anyway, makeup just go on so much nice. It doesn't like set in your lines. I feel less harsh looking when I'm like naturally frowning like this all the time. Feel like that's quite a harsh look um so just to like relax that area there first time i had botox i had it in the crow's feet as well but i didn't have that the second time around i just had like i said in my forehead and here but like higher up in my forehead because i still want that movement so anyway back to see him today to have some tear trough filler anyway as i was saying it is a gifted treatment with dr ahmed so i just want to be transparent with that but i have paid for it in the past as well i'm gonna start my day well not start my day because we're well into the day i've had a run had a shower hair wash feeling accomplished but i'm gonna make some pancakes but healthier pancakes this morning because it is shrove tuesday but i am home alone so i thought rather than make loads of pancakes i'm just gonna do banana and egg pancakes if ever you've seen them they're not as like sweet or as tasty but honestly they are nice and you're getting your protein from the eggs your vitamins from the banana and then just a bit of butter in the pan to allow it to sort of like fry in and yes literally all you're having is 
banana rags for breakfast. I also had a couple of PR passes arrived this morning, so I'll show you those before we head off to Wilmslow. And also, if you're not Wilmslow area, by the way, Dr. Ahmed has a clinic in London and Leeds as well. Let's make some breakfast. <laughs> So I'm also gonna just add a tiny little bit of baking powder and also plain flour, just so, I mean, you don't need to do this. This is like the unhealthy part, but I'm just gonna do this to be able to just have them nice and fluffy this morning. But like I said, yeah, this is not an essential by any means. Just a little bit to thicken them up. And this is no recipe, by the way. This is me just completely eyeballing. So just, yeah, don't ask me for a recipe. There isn't one. This is just me making it up as I go. Here we have it. I have one still in the pan currently, but I'm gonna just pop a drizzle of golden syrup on and also a few cut up fresh strawberries and that's my breakfast. So we are here. I thought we'd do a little bit of a before of my under eye area especially, just so you can see when I come out the after. I probably won't show any needles or anything like that because I'm no good with needles. Um, but yeah, this is how I'm looking. Nervous. I'm always nervous. When it's anything to do with like needles and stuff. Ugh. Not good. But we're okay. It actually doesn't even hurt that much, if I'm being honest with you. You can maybe, I've never had tear trough filler, but it's. I'm assuming it'll be the similar sort of feeling for when I've had filler here. Um, and it is, I would say, more uncomfortable than the Botox. Botox I actually weirdly like. It's kind of like how I imagine uh, acupuncture would feel because it's so like small and like minimal. Um, but yeah, it's always a bit more sensitive. Or when I've had lip filler as well, that's a bit more sensitive. But you can get like numbing cream and stuff as well to help. But um, last time I was like, yeah, just go in and just do it. <laughs> so we'll see what we end up doing today. But um, yeah, definitely noticing the hollows under my eyes and the darkness. So we will see the results very shortly. Fresh from the clinic. A little rosy cheeked, but nothing too bad to be fair, considering I have quite sensitive skin. And the results, obviously like things take time to settle, but with it being filler, the results are pretty instant. And honestly guys, I just feel so like, this area here and here, there's just far less hollowness. You know, it's still my eyes, it's still that same like shape and everything, but yeah, I just know that next time I put on my makeup, I'm, I'm actually excited to put on my makeup. I'm not gonna wear makeup today though, but oh yeah. Anyway, I didn't do anything else today. Uh, both myself and Dr. Ahmed felt that I, I didn't really need to like, I don't wanna excessively, the thing is with me, okay, is little and often is my thing or not even often little less is more let's just stick with less is more i have always had the mindset with any kind of treatments like this is to not overdo it and not just kind of <clears throat> become used to just having things done quite often so yeah just today we've stuck with the under eye really happy with the results definitely something that i would get again and i'm literally only just fresh out of the clinic and i'm already saying that and um, also just for just kind of like a peace of mind if it ever is something that you're thinking about booking and you are local to either cheshire um london or leeds i will leave the booking link down below of um i'll leave the treatment link as well of what i've had done so that you can like read up more about it if you want but you can just see from because this is what i did before going to see Dr. Ahmed. I wasn't just like straight in. I like to do my research when it comes to having any kind of 
beauty treatment done i was the same with like my invisalign i just like to do my research i would far rather pay to have something done that is done by a trusted credited um experienced he was just telling me actually he's got a brunch with tatla next time i'm going in he'll have been to the brunch with tatla and he's like in fact he's put it on his instagram the aesthetics doctor on instagram he is let's see here medic of the moment he's made it to the tatla top 50 doctors guide yeah so he is definitely someone that can be trusted he's a gp he's a doctor and i trust him really really happy with the results thank you again dr ahmed and if you do want any more kind of like updates and posts and seeing what the progress is like i will be posting more on my instagram stories maybe even on tiktok as well so if you head over to there then um, i even have a highlight saved on my instagram um under dr ahmed just so that you can see any like previous things that i've had you can refer back to them then head back home to my little pooch now who is probably wondering where i am I'm back home to this gorgeous boy oh that's a nice chin scratch in it in it bud Ooh, you're a good boy. Did you keep the house safe whilst mummy was gone? Did you keep everyone out and the cats out of the garden? Did you shout at them from the window? Did you shout at them? Oh, guys, how nice is this? This is okay. It's actually silver and needs a polish, but Tom found it in his mum's garage, I think. It's a Louis Rodra. Oh. this drink which i think is that i think it's cristal um but anyway i just kept that on the side for now because it actually looks real nice excuse barney drinking in the background but i was coming to his treat jar to pick him a little treat for being a good boy and as for me did i or did i not say that i was not going to do valentine's day gifts this year and i'm not because let's face it this is going to be one that we're going to share drag for valentine's so if you're watching this on sunday message me on instagram and ask me if i've still got any of this left because i think the answer is probably going to be no <laughs> i mean we have said no to anything this year but i just feel like tom's got me flowers every year i think he'll get me flowers but if not in the words of miley Cyrus, i can buy myself flowers you know but i can also buy myself a chocolate easter egg so maybe we'll just keep that to one side and if i get flowers Tom will get an Easter egg. Also, that Easter egg, that was one that we bought on a whim last year. I feel like it's quite dark. I'm going to pop the uh, lamps on. I bought it on a whim, like just a random purchase. And now I'm like, I've got to get one of them every year because... Oh, Barney, what's the matter? Flip you around and show you a couple of the thrifty things that I was mentioning that I would show you. Whilst we're in here, I guess I will show you in addition to this, which is not thrifted, it's from Tom's mum's garage, but you know, that kind of rustic vintage. Do we polish it, do you think? Because that will polish back to being silver, but I kind of like it looking a bit rustic. I know some people will think I'm crazy for saying that, but I like that look. Um, anyway, I've got these little salter scales from a thrift, a charity shop. This is from an antiques fair. Still need to organize and sort out this pantry because I want to have some kind of like open shelving thing that I've got here from Zara. I think we're gonna do onions and garlic in one, potatoes in another, and then the bottom two, because they're a bit more on Barney's level. I feel like maybe just i'm not sure yet we'll see how zara styled this but yeah that's zara home i also want to pick up a new dog bowl because it's wooden it gets quite grubby and it's quite hard and i just feel like cleanliness hygiene it's not the best and i do quite like the fact that it's at a higher level for him to eat but yeah we need a big sort out in here and then we've got our kitchen shelves which have a few thrifted bits on this is from that same arthur swallows antiques fair this is from a charity shop the Mezzanula is it called behind it the herb chopper is it arthur swallows i think that is and then a little antiques fair in wilms where we went to i got these little butter paddles and that's a charity shop find i just love the color of it because it's like a subtle green that goes quite nicely in our kitchen these aren't antiques but i always love these and i think they're a great find they're so affordable they're from the garden section in home sense and they were literally i think about 
three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, maybe six. But yeah, they've probably upped their prices since because I did get these a long time ago, but I just love rustic pots like this. They are designed to be outside, but I bring them inside. This is what I'm wearing today. I've just got a Zara tracksuit on. It was a matching tracksuit. However, since I've washed them, they've come out different colors. It's like the top matches the drawstring, but then the bottoms are a bit more green. It's got a little necklace from Ana Luisa, my Rolex watch, and my Veja trainers. That's my little comfy outfit for the day. A lot of you guys asked me where this is from. This is from Home Bargains as is the basket, but I'm looking for a bigger pot to put this in. Again, a potential antique find, so I'm just holding out, there's no rush. That's the thing with antiques, these things take time. Excuse the fact that the table is moved all the way over here. We did that for yoga yesterday, I just haven't had a chance to move it back yet. These are also a common question of where I get asked where these are from. Again, I'll leave everything I can linked below. So these are actually Amazon. There's a few different ones on Amazon. These ones are usually on sale though. So I'll leave the exact ones I've got linked below in the description box. They're just like a portable, three different settings. You can also hold it down and it dims it or brightens it. Um, little rechargeable portable lamp. What else do we have? On this shelf, I've got this is actually a H&M vase, but I found it at a charity shop in Bernardo's. Let's take off my shoes for a second, go in here, because I think there's a few more bits in here. This artwork, guys, I don't know, have I shown you this before? It's from South Africa. Tom brought it back from his recent trip there, and I love the story behind this print. It's a guy called, well, the print is called Madala or Mandal Mandala, and it's, uh, the photographer captured this guy who was in his best attire, his best dress, and he was waiting for the bus to head to his daughter's wedding, of which he picked this up as a little wedding gift. I feel like if I've told you that before, I apologize, but I just had to tell it you again. I love that little story, little puppy as a wedding gift. We've popped it in a walnut frame with like quite a thick passepartout, too. And I think that's gonna go in the other half of this room. It's gonna go on this wall here. I do need a rejig of this sort of corner. I'm thinking of popping this table over here, but I've just got some bits here that I need to take to the charity shop. So I'm thinking a little, round pedestal table there with the lamp on because there's a plug there as well. I've given this a bit of a clean and it's from the Vintage Emporium which you'll have seen in the vlog that we went there, last went there. Um, yeah, we picked that up for £30. Absolute steal. Love it. And then whilst I was there I also picked up this piece of artwork. Apologies for the reflection from the lights. Uh, what else is thrifted along here is a book from the charity shop. I've got a couple of other older books that are also like charity shop finds. I find charity shop finds really, sorry, I find charity shops really easy to find bargain antique books. This is one as well, The Book of Dogs, that's a charity shop find. So yeah, I would always recommend having a look at charity shop book purchases, especially for the like the real rustic old ones, if it is just gonna be for styling. Charity shops, thrifting, antique markets, antiques markets they're all great places to find good like vintage books seeing as they were in the spirit of valentine's and all got my little love heart mug from the white company and a little afternoon coffee to sit down and share with you the couple of pr bits and also i'll show you the dunelm bits that i did get because i did end up picking up a few bits also just before i show you those i did have one other charity shop purchase that i wanted to share with you which i picked up recently um, it was three pounds and I love how kind of rustic and the color of it, like even all these splodges on this side. Does it say where it's from? It's giving Zara home, I think. And I've got this little pot from plant, sorry, from Ikea, which you may have seen in my Ikea video. And I thought that would sit quite nicely in one of the shelves somewhere. So yeah, I thought I would mention that three pounds. Um, what's this one? I don't actually know what this parcel is. Oh, no. Something I ordered off Amazon and something that I think is going to come in super handy in my wardrobe. If you saw my wardrobe kind of renovation, wardrobe room tour type video, then you may have seen that I talked about our, like my shoe area because the shelves are quite deep. It, 
felt like I could have had more shelves. Well, I saw these on Amazon and then even since that video, a few of you sent me links to these and I said, I've already got them. Um, but it's a box of six of these shoe separator things. Let me see, is it six or 12? Here we go, you lock them in like that. So they, yeah, there's 12 of them. So you can have like one shoe there and then the other shoe with the ripper section here set up like that so that these slot into your wardrobe and you can have loads of them. And rather than having a shoe, a shoe, you've got a shoe, a shoe. So thinking they will come in very handy. What do we have here? Ooh, package from Neom. I love Neom so much. Honestly, guys, they're home scented products. I, this box, I just got a whiff of it then. It smells divine. So what have they sent me? Oh, I feel absolutely spoiled. So we've got a little do not disturb sign that can go on the bathroom door when having a good soak in wellness, apparently. Soak in wellness. So this is a, is it new? Yes, new well-being soak multivitamin bath oil. So I love their bath like foam, I think they call it anyway. So in here, they have, I'm guessing, included one of those. Real luxury well-being soak. This is the scent to de-stress. Rich in five vitamins, A, B1, B2, good for energy, B6 and vitamin E. And yeah, I already know what this smells like. The scent to de-stress. I feel like it's the perfect scent for a bath, especially as maybe not so much a morning bath, but maybe like an invigorating one for the morning. But I tend to only, if I'm gonna have a bath, have it in the evening. And this is lavender, jasmine, and sandalwood. And it not only makes you smell nice, it makes the whole bathroom smell amazing. So they've also included, to also further help the bathroom smell amazing, with it, a candle in the scent to de-stress. And again, their candles are some of my favorites to burn. That's good. It reminds me, it takes me back to Monday yoga. I always have an essential oil burning. And then Sophia as well, she comes um, around to us at the end of the practice, uses some essential oils above us that we can sip in. She like massages our temples and she'll like, oh, honestly. That's where I was just transported to. Isn't it funny how scent works like that? And then they've also included a little bag of petals to pop in your bath as well. So a real luxury, a real treat. I definitely feel like I could benefit from having baths more often. Oh, what's this? Okay, this is from a company called the British Hamper Company. I have some treats in here. Hi Fred, we hope you enjoyed this hamper from all at the British Hamper Company. Thank you guys. Oh, lovely. Okay, so this is one of, I'm assuming, many hampers that they have on offer. Oh, that's good. You've got on the little tab there, the earliest best before date so that you know when to have your hamper by. What a good like gift idea, especially for, you know, like, someone who like for instance tom he really appreciates fashion that's made in england it's like getting a hamper in fact i could give this to him on valentine's tomorrow even though they sent it to me because let's face it i'm gonna benefit from this hamper too so inside i don't know why i'm whispering as if tom Perry's not even here but you can see in there we've got a lincoln shirt tea bags deliciously crunchy corn love corn and sea salt i've tried these before they're really nice actually it's basically if you can see there like corn kennels kernels whatever they're called and then we've got some chocolate from willie's cacao and this is in white which I love, sublime, 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 creamy white chocolate. And then this one is a creamy milk chocolate with nutty and coffee notes. And then the next layer of packaging, caramel sea salt fudge, Jorset red buttercrumb biscuits, perfect for a little cheese board one night. And then we've also got some Tony's cookies, all butter, delicious cookies, handmade. Last but not least, We've got a jar of something. Strawberry jam from Thursday Cottage. What a lovely little hamper to come home to. Thank you so much to the British Hamper Company for sending me these bits. Much appreciated. Like I said, we are gonna 
enjoy those so last but not least i will share with you the dunelm bits that i got yesterday let me just move the camera a little bit to there we go so i feel like i've picked up some underbed storage recently from ikea and i was thinking about potentially having it on the top of my wardrobe as additional space like storage space but i saw these and they also had some larger ones for 15 pounds like a harder base one how much were these ones these were 14 and this is an underbed bag so yeah they had the bigger underbed storage boxes that are shallower and then these ones are like a full-on bag which will definitely fit on top of my wardrobe and the fact that it's this kind of material as opposed to the ikea ones that i picked up I just feel like they look a lot nicer i know the white company do some very similar to this kind of material with the white company written on it but this is the same thing to organize everything under both the spare bed and our bed it's just got a mixture of things like towels linens summer clothes which i'm eventually gonna have to sort through just random bits shoved under the bed which is like a very unhealthy habit to have of mine because shoving something under a bed is not ideal when it's not organized or in lovely little bags like this so yeah i'm excited to like have a good sort through of all of that and then i saw these wicker baskets that they do i think this is from yeah this is part of the churchgate range which i love these ones are 30 pounds it's quite a large you could use it as like a waste paper storage basket like in an office but it is quite big um, so I also thought it could be quite nice as you know like the olive tree I was saying the plant stand in that wicker basket this one's slightly bigger so I feel like and I like the shape of it for the olive tree as well could be quite nice to have a plant in there and then I also got this one which is uh, 35 pounds and they've got a couple of different umbrella baskets like this they've got one in like a wicker with a wick like a handle on each side or they've got this kubu wicker one with the handles built in here which i personally prefer it's a nice kind of like muted cool toned wash as well as opposed to the other one which is a bit more orangey but anyway yeah a really nice umbrella stand that i thought could go in because we've not got much space by the front door either like in the porch like by the front door but then it's outside i probably don't want to do that so i was thinking in the basement utility room i want to have at some point a good organized clear out rejig in that room because at the minute we've just got literally like a clothes rail down there with loads of coats on like all the dog walking coats and waterproof coats boots wellies and the welly rack that we've got is broken as well so things are like falling off and we've got barney's like spare leads and harnesses down there but not properly organized so ideally i want to have a complete refresh of that room dare i say it redecorate even like i like obviously the units and the dog wash and everything like that but on the other side of the wall i'm thinking some kind of bench peg basket maybe paneling or something like a bit of tongue and groove paneling down there maybe the only thing is with that space is because there's no door into like the corridor it's all just open i would have to think where i would run the panelling too but anyway something like this i thought would be ideal in there to have all of the umbrellas a couple of really nice long wooden ones there is a basket in here as well it's like a little tupperware basket oh hello there mister are you coming to have a nosy i mean you've got sleepies in your eyes why i always have to get the sleep out of his eyes and then i got this two pack of uh rice paddles they call them from that world food markets is it world food world gourmet sorry it's called little range that i showed you and i just loved the colors of these kind of like an acacia wood dark wood that will look lovely in a utensils pot that i've got on our oh i thought this was a pack of two it's not it's two separates that were just muddled up so i've probably been charged for both haven't i i only wanted one to be honest with you but i thought oh they come as a two so i'll get them both they don't come as a two they're individuals but yeah still four pounds for them thought they would look nice in that little utensils pot on the kitchen shelf and then i did go for the oven glove how could i not lovely i really liked the kind of darker linen the green color i thought about getting the apron but we have got a linen apron it's just a plain linen apron that i barely use anyway so i thought there's no point in getting a second one and then again having said that it is 
very nice. It's kind of like, you know, White Company have one like this, whereby they've got that White Company running down the middle. It just says Churchgate established 1984. I feel like I might end off this vlog here actually, because I want to get it edited and uploaded for you guys this week. So I don't want to continue it on too much longer. So yes, I'm going to end it here. Let me know what you guys would like to see in upcoming vlogs, future videos. Any suggestions and ideas, welcome in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, rest of your week. Um, if you're watching on a Sunday, rest of your weekend. <laughs> and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.